What's going on people, Guns Blazing back at it again. Today I took on a Max C challenge in a Dragon Maids mirror match in Plat. While it's not exactly a mirror match, they're running pure while I'm running combo Dragon Maids with uh, Dragoonity and Rockets. And I've tried both of these variations. I've tried the pure, I've tried the combo variant. All in all, I prefer combo and I'll explain why. But anyways, he's gonna get to change over into his Shiyu. It's a big body and it's one negate. But this is a problem with the pure Dragon Maids and it's that that's all they end off with. Plus maybe a seals if they're lucky. Anyways, he goes ahead and shotgun maxis. I'm like, damn, okay. Then he also gets parlor out. That's gonna matter later when he has house. But I don't call it by the grave the maxi yet. I have both Remus and Ravine, so I can afford to use one of these as bait. And uh, once I use Remus as bait as well, uh, it doesn't matter if it gets negated, because I already have Legatus in my hand. And he takes neither of the first two baits, so I go in with a third bait. This time he actually does negate it. And actually my goal is to just get Shiyu gone, so. Well, I also think like he should have used his Shiyu to stop my combo instead, but max COP, right? His negate is off the board now, so I have free reign to do whatever I want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and combo like there's no tomorrow. I have an explanation for this in my other Dragon Maids video, if you wanna check that out. And as long as I don't get hit with an Ash Blossom or a Nib in the first half of my combo, I should be fine. Also note I have a Tracer in my hand. Uh, usually Remus is the one card combo, but but when you have either Tracer or Quick Launch, that's when you can extend it a little bit. I definitely love having the Rockets package in here, by the way, because you're gonna end off with one more negate than just um, Dragon Maids plus Dragoonity. And as I said, you just need one more card in your opening hand, being the Rocket Tracer or the Quick Launch. Now, there's gonna be a key moment coming up after I uh, use this A Tomb to get my Red Eyes MD. This is gonna get Baby Rock. And it's at this point or earlier he should nib because uh, once I get Baby Rock out and I synchro these two out into uh, Crystal Wing, after this point your window's gone. Like, I can now negate the nib so he'll need like nib plus effect Veiler or something. But either way, no nib comes through. Either he didn't want to or he doesn't have it. At this point I get my changeover which is dropped into the grave by Parlor with the Parlor Nurse combo. And at this point I got my second negate out so I can play through nib. I can play through like Nib plus Effect Veiler or any like Ash, Droll and Lock. And here I can just flow naturally into the Rocket part of the combo by going to Striker Dragon using the extra Nurse I had laying around and that's gonna pick up my booty for lunch. Usually you'd make Seals before uh, doing the Rocket part of this because now you're locked into Dark Extra Deck. But obviously it's different because we're going turn 2 and we want to OTK so I just get my Savage out. That's now three negates online. This Spyro Dragon's kind of scuffed. I forgot I don't have a what's it called yet? Dinger suit. Anyways, enter battle phase. Uh, parlor effect happens, but I allow the parlor because it's the house that I want to negate with Crystal Wing. Because that gets full value. It negates the destruction, gives me plus 3000, which is house's attack. And actually, we're going to get to utilize every single Crystal Wing effect in this duel. Getting up to 10,800 because he used a Tinkhack boost. Same damage in the end, but thanks for the nice thumbnail. And to spare you from the counting, he had 20 cards in his hand at the end, if you're wondering. So that's a Jeej, but uh, let me show you why he shouldn't have been prioritizing uh, protecting his Max C there with the negate. There's nothing here really that can threaten us after he does use Max C and draws a bunch of cards from it. If I'm running three Max C, I might as well put one nib because uh, you can draw into the nib, but that's just my preference. He did have stuff like Raigeki, Feather Duster, Lightning Storm in case he did survive, but no one's gonna survive uh, combo Dragon Maids if they don't stop the combo. It's actually kind of fortunate that he didn't pick up an Ash Blossom because that could have stopped our combo somewhere midway. All in all though, I don't like Pure because it doesn't put out enough negate to deal with a bunch of meta decks and that's why I prefer combo. I'll also show you the list I'm using. It's 50 cards, but later in the video. I really prefer this specific variant with the rockets included. I used to run just combo with Dragoonity, but your strongest board ends up usually being one Spheres, which is a bounce, Shiyu, which is one Omni negate, and then Crystal Wing, which is a monster negate. So that's three interruptions total. It's not a lot of interruptions. Someone can easily manage to play their, their way through that, especially considering Shiyu is the only Omni negate. So if they Kaiju the Shiyu right off the bat, or if they force you to use it right away, then your negate options become very limited. By using the rocket package, you'll easily have access to a second Omni negate in your Borolod Savage, bringing you up to four interruptions, which is a much better feeling breakpoint. 
And at that point, then it kind of feels like I'm playing Drytrons, just a lot less consistent, fewer negates still. But then at least I get to play an archetype I actually like, whose art and thighs I actually enjoy. Y you know the deal. Anyways, since we had both Remus combo and Rocket in hand, this board is gonna end off with the four negates that I just mentioned. There is a way to end with like five or six negates, but you had to draw a very specific set of cards. Also keep in mind that you can also go, um, what's it called, Chaos Ruler instead of Borloid Savage with this. It could potentially pick you up an Effect Veiler or a Nib or some follow-up for the next turn, but I just choose to go for the Negate here. And then I go ahead and rudely take up my opponent's standby phase with uh, my mini Dragon Mates. Here's where having the second uh, Omni Negate comes in. I can use Savage for this Lightning Storm and still feel pretty safe, uh, still having the Shiyu on board. Go ahead and Crystal Wing the Trap Tricks Normal Summon, because it also destroys. Again, there's no real competitive reason to be running this over the top tier decks, but... You know, I'm a Dragon Maids enjoyer. I enjoy me some Dragon Maids. This is gonna be my main deck for the season. Here's an interesting one versus Drytrons, where they actually interrupt my combo. Which, I'll be real with you, if you get your combo interrupted, then you're pretty much boned. Luckily, I have a small fallback, which is my Parlor Dragon Maid Normal Summon. If you open with Parlor or Chamber, you can recover this as long as you have one uh, high-level dragon, because you can just pick up Changeover and use that to fuse into Shiyu. But that's going to be it for me, looking like a pure Dragon Maid set. Anyways, let's be real. If you didn't break with Drytrons, then we lose this, but you bricked. So that's why we have this replay. This is also why we have this replay, this Royal Decree and Lava Golem tech. I guess the Royal Decree is to counter Eldritch and stuff, and that's a, that's a pretty smart idea. Any Royal Decreeers let me know how it's going. Is it worth it? Thank goodness I sent Tidings so I can get my Shiyu Negate back online. And I'm just gonna negate the Benton in the grave, because if I do that, then his turn's done. Interesting though, the Lava Golem instead of just a Kaiju. Uh, if I didn't use my Shiyu Summon, he can't use it, but obviously I'm not gonna like foresee that happening. Boys, I'm also not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I, I built a Drytron deck today too, but I'm not gonna use it unless I go on a heavy loss streak and I get tilted. You guys, I actually got two Royal Decrees going on. Anyways, here's what I was running for this video. Uh, it's a 50 card pile. A steaming hot pile of 50 cards. And I crafted a lot of these cards today. Also finished practicing Dragon Maids by itself, and then also Rockets by themselves, so... I won't be lost half the time anymore when I'm trying to pilot this. It's not complete yet though. Like, it's playable right now, but it's not complete. There's still a couple of crafts that need to come in. And I don't know if I want to keep it at 50, or go lower, or go higher. I kind of want to say that 50 is a sweet spot though. Like, if you go higher than 50, it's going to get too bricky and you won't draw your starters as often. But lower than 50 is like, you won't be able to not draw the bricks in the deck. The extra deck gets really tight though, like you can't run more than one copy of House and Shiyu. So once you get a house out, like that's it, you can't do a Shiyu negate again. So actually I don't know which one I'd prioritize, having more houses or having more spheres, but right now I'm running two spheres. If you noticed, uh, I don't run as much hand traps with this one, mainly because like I can't afford to brick like that. Plus it's not a 40 card deck, so the chances that you'll actually have a hand trap on you when you need it, it's not going to be that high. What I'm more concerned about is that it really gets pooped on going second, so that's why I'm trying to run Dark Ruler no more and get my hands on some more droplets. And the last thing you should note is that one card on the right that I haven't crafted yet is Dingersu. I'm going to be adding that in because you can exceed into it with Spiral Dragon, even after you use your Rocket Tracer's effect. So either I'm going to cut uh, number 38 or Closed World, maybe even Pisty. Pisty's not as important as Striker Dragon here. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, boys. As always, decklist and OnlyFans in the description below. Gotta keep it running for the premium subscribers, you know, gotta supplement that ad revenue. But other than that, my boys, have yourselves a good one. And this is Guns Blazing, signing out.